Hello, YouTube audiences. This is Dr. Dan Osimsky, and today, I am here to show you how an electromagnetic bell works. This one you see here is the type of bell I'm going to talk about. Almost a year ago, in January 2013, I found this old bell at my grandmother's house while my family and I were clearing it out. The bell was in storage for God knows how long, like 50 or 60 years or something? Oh, whatever. But anyway, even though I have seen this type of bell many times earlier, before, I really couldn't understand how it worked. But little did I know that that would change soon. When I took it home that night, I cleaned up the insides of the bell then searched the internet and found this video on YouTube which clearly explained how this type of bell worked. When the video ended, I thought, Electromagnets? Of course, now I know what to do! So I went to the garage and connected the bell to a car charger, and the first time I tried it, the striker was a bit too far from the gong at the top, preventing the bell from ringing at all. So I bent the striker a bit closer to the gong, and tried again, and it worked. And now, here's my best explanation of its internal workings. Here, let me remove this cover. There, perfect. Now, when the power source is activated with the bell attached to it, the electrical current goes through these copper wires wrapped around these metal parts, activating electromagnetic field. As simple as it may sound here, these magnets attract the striker arm, causing the striker to hit the gong on top to make a ringing sound. But when it does this, there's a point right here when the connection between the striker and its male resting place is severed. If these points are not touching each other, the electrical current instantaneously shuts down which in turn, shuts down the magnetism of the coil as well. With nothing pulling onto it anymore, the striker retracts back to its original position. Upon contact, the circuit and the magnetism are reactivated instantaneously, repeating the process over and over again at a very high rate. Here's me using a small 9 volt battery to power it. Recall, huh, guys? Now in my case, although I can't reach both terminals due to how thin the battery is, I can, however, have the battery touch one terminal, the terminal with the fabric or something around it, as well as a much closer metal section of the bell's metal structure that touches the other terminal. In other words, there's a shortcut between the two terminals on the rear of the lower structure of the bell. Well, I guess that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll chat with you later. Thank you. Copyright 2014, The War Industries of Citizen Pacer Studios Incorporated.